Hey everybody, it's Xander and welcome back to the ARW. We're here with another great episode. On our way to the Termination Chamber. We are just about a week and a half away at this point. It will be next Sunday. Which will be on February... Or next Saturday, February 9th. We're live in Erie, Pennsylvania. And tonight we determine the second to last member of the Termination Chamber. And what a great As here we go with our fifth participant to qualify for the Termination Chamber. And out first, he's back. And he's better than ever. With his return for the first time since his loss on episode one to Thanos, he's getting another chance. It's Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon is in. Tonight he has an opportunity. He has an opportunity to get into the Termination Chamber, to join Shao Kahn, to join the Dragonborn, to join Sam and Dean Winchester, and one more superstar who will be determined next week when the winner will face the winner of the Bowser Thanos match in the main event of ARW Xander Mania. Now then, who is Captain Falcon taking on tonight? Well... Well... The Dark Knight has arrived! The Dark Knight rises tonight. You are my number one. Batman. German suplex, but he just decided to drop Batman. Turns around, right hand to the back of Batman. Just imagine the redemption story for Captain Falcon. If he could win tonight, go on and win the Termination Chamber, and then face Thanos at Xandermania, and finally capture the ARW Heavyweight Championship there. Backbreaker to the bat. It is all Captain Falcon in the early stages of this matchup. And now, oh, Captain Falcon just got tossed by Batman. And a clothesline sends him over the top. Batman. Oh, Captain Falcon and Batman trading blows. Yeah, 
and a kick to the ribs. There's a kick to the ribs again from Batman. Sends Captain Falcon back in the ring. Right hand, Batman grabs Falcon by the back of the neck. And Captain Falcon with an elbow. Knocks Batman away. Captain Falcon with a nice uppercut there. Into the cover on Batman who kicks out. Oh, a forearm off the jaw from Batman. Oh, who gets caught up on the ropes thanks to Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon picks up Batman, tosses him. Oh, four roundhouse kick. Batman goes in the corner. Falcon with a right. Now Falcon went for that German, but she decides to drop him again. Captain Falcon posing for the fans a little bit. Rolls Batman over into a cover. Might have wasted a little too much time. Kick out from Batman. Kick to the back now. And Captain Falcon fired up. Forearm again. And now, backbreaker. To Captain Falcon. And a double foot stomp. Captain Falcon drops the fist now. Two. Wait a minute, the referee didn't see the rope. Bit of a tainted victory tonight. But Captain Falcon qualifies. said a bit of a tainted victory because if the referee had done his job right and seen Batman's hand on the rope, he'd have known that was a rope break. By the way, it's time for our next matchup. Captain Falcon is going to the Termination Chamber. As up next, we have another match in our unofficial tournament of sorts. As Wonder Woman Making begins to make her way to the ring. From New York, the Warrior Princess, Diana. She with you? I love you. She's here. Wonder Woman in the ring. She has another chance if she wins tonight. She gets one step closer to a rematch with Captain Marvel. And her but her opponent tonight is Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy all on her own tonight. making her way to the ring. Last week she abandoned her tag team partner Harley Quinn. No one really knows what happened there. We're not sure what the status is with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. But to continue what I was saying about the tournament of sorts, the winner of this match, the winner of our other women's, women's match tonight, as well as Batgirl for her victory over Black Cat. And Princess Daisy after her victory over Sonya Blade last week will face off in a fatal four-way match next week in which the winner will face Captain Marvel at the Termination Chamber for the ARW Women's Championship.
as here we go with Poison Ivy and Wonder Woman. And oh, Poison Ivy starting off strong. Wonder Woman finds the counter though. Oh, and Ivy. Poison Ivy. Great showing off the bat here tonight. And Wonder Woman, oh, goes head first. Ivy, Hurricane Rana. She has not gotten any offense, and there's a jab and a leg sweep from Wonder Woman, though. I was saying that Wonder Woman had not gotten any offense. Had not gotten much offense in, in the only parts of the matchup. As now she puts Ivy on the top rope. Backwards at that, huh? Hangs her up in the tree of low position and drops her. And now Wonder Woman. Cover one, no kick out from Ivy. And Wonder Woman with a right and another and a third. And a back body drop on the outside of the ring. Referee had a two count. count now. These two need to get back in the ring for a winner to be declared. Six. Wonder Woman back in the ring now. And oh! A, a slam there from Wonder Woman. One. Kick out from Ivy though. Wonder Woman turns her over. Drags her towards the center of the ring and Wonder Woman puts her boot in the ribs of Ivy. Now just stomping away on the chest. And a boot to the face. And now full weight on the chest, pulling back on the arm. And a knee to the back. Well, that was enough to put Harley Quinn away last week. Won't be enough for Ivy tonight. One, two, no, a kick out from Poison Ivy. Oh, Wonder Woman is calling Poison Ivy up. Grabs her by the throat, has her up. Choke slam, down goes Ivy, into the cover. One, two, three, Wonder Woman's your winner, and she will go on to the Fatal 4-Way next week. Big victory for Wonder Woman tonight. Soft Poison Ivy. I'd say it was a one-sided match, but they're only talking about that with Ivy. Might have been able to pull off the upset, but right here was the turning point. The choke slam. Ivy got like a light. And Wonder Woman is your winner. Celebrating that victory, she is fired up for that one. And as I said, she's one step closer to her match. A rematch with Captain Marvel. Well, let's go on to our next part of the show. Our next match. Up next, we have more singles action and another in-ring debut. It's a superstar we've already seen multiple times here on the ARW, but it's an in-ring debut. But out first... It is the amazing, spectacular Spider-Man. Spidey on his way to the ring. Spider-Man making his way down. Last time we saw Spider-Man, he was number one in the Royal Rumble. The first Rumble. And I believe he was also the first eliminated, but tonight he has a showcase matchup here tonight. He has a hard cast ahead of him. Trust me, it is a not an easy task for him to overcome. Because his opponent is the in-ring debut of Iron Mike Tyson. Iron Mike making 
his way down the ring. Mike Tyson has picked a fight with Little Mac lately. At episode one, when Little Mac knocked off Wario, Mike Tyson came from nowhere and pummeled Little Mac. And then just a few weeks ago, Little Mac was having a match with Bonesaw McGraw. And Mike Tyson came from nowhere, knocked Mac's lights out, and helped Bonesaw pick up the victory over Mac. And tonight it is Mike Tyson versus Spider Man. So here we go. Spider Man starts it with a drop kick, shoves Mike down. Spider Man, early an early flurry of offense here against Mike Tyson. That spider strength and speed from, from Spidey. Definitely got to be helping him tonight. As he has Mike Tyson against the ropes and whips him off of it. Turns him over now. Spider-Man into a cross face on Mike. Is Spider-Man going to make Mike Tyson tap? No, he's not. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson has not gotten any offense in, though. He's been sent over the top rope. Spider-Man playing it up to the crowd now. If I were Spider-Man, I wouldn't do that against Mike Tyson because now Mike's got the leg and he sweeps it. Tyson with a kick. Picks him back up. And Tyson went for a right counter from Spidey. And, oh, Mike Tyson finds another counter. Another kick, and there's a right. And here we go. There's that boxing legend experience from Iron Mike. Seven count. Head first off the table goes Spider-Man. And back in the ring they go. Wait a minute. Well, there's Little Mac. There's a man who is not happy with Mike Tyson. No regards to the rules. Mac is in. The star punch to Mike Tyson. Well, Spider-Man has lost this matchup by disqualification. Little Mac doesn't care. Little Mac just beating the hell out of Mike Tyson. And a wind-up uppercut. Someone's got to get Little Mac out of here. Oh, drops Mike again. The referee trying to get security out here. Little Mac getting revenge for weeks and weeks of torment from Tyson. These two will be meeting one-on-one -on -one for the first time at the Termination Chamber. But tonight, Little Mac, he doesn't want to wait until next Saturday. He is just beating Mike up now. Oh, and he's pulling back on the neck. And now Mac picks Mike Tyson up again. Oh, and a right. A second. And one more for good measure. Mike goes down. Little Mac is still not done. Little Mac picks him up. And another jab, head clap, and Mac. The referee, the referee still can't bring a stop to this. And Mac's calling him up again. Well, the referee has managed to make Little Mac calm down. We're going to move on to our next match. Well, up next, we have the final quote-unquote qualifying match in our unofficial tournament. Without first, well, here's a woman that we know for a fact knows how to make an entrance. I still don't know how we have the money for these entrances, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. But coming from the crowd, it is the Assassin, Assassin's Great Odyssey, Cassandra. Making her way to the ring from the city of that Sandra making her way to the ring. Look at Brad Knight. She could have one more shot at a rematch with Captain Marvel. And who is her opponent tonight? That is the question. Oh boy! Rogue! The ex-woman! Rogue making her way down. That's my girl right there, Rogue. 
the Southern Belle of the X-Men. Fortunately for her, when you're inside the ropes of the ARW, superpowers, mutations, they don't have any real effect. So if Rogue gets her hands dirty tonight against Cassandra, she won't be killing anyone, for, fortunately for Rogue. Rogue is in the ring tonight. This is her in-ring singles debut. She was in the Women's Rumble. Didn't have the strongest showing, but she is here tonight. And oh, Rogue got popped up for a powerbomb, turning into a Hurricane Rana early on there. Collar and elbow. See, it'd be fitting if we saw Rogue versus Captain Marvel, because, for those of you who are not aware, Rogue obtained her super strength and power of flight from holding on to Captain Marvel for far too long during a fight, permanently gaining the power of flight and super strength from Captain, then Ms. Marvel, formerly known as Ms. Marvel, to be specific there, and the crossbody from Cassandra. Rogue goes down. At the moment, we know that we have Wonder Woman, Batgirl, and Princess Daisy in that fatal four-way next week. Cassandra bounces Rogue off the corner, picks her back up, and a crossbody again. Stomp to the ribs, picks Rogue up one more time. And Rogue turns it into a DDT. Into the cover. One kick out from Cassandra. And now Rogue takes her down. Head scissor takedown. Elbow. Repeated elbows. Rogue to the top row. With an elbow to the back of Cassandra. And Rogue going up top again. Rogue turns around. Oh, went for a reverse moonsault. Or a corkscrew moonsault to be specific. But Cassandra got out of the way and kicks her in the knee. Has her back up now. Whips her into the corner. Went for double knees. Rogue out of the way, turns her around. Side rush and leg sweep. Down goes Cassandra. Into the cover. Referee in position one. No, kick out from Cassandra. And a drop kick to the back from Rogue. Cassandra attacks the arm now. Grabs Rogue, scoops her up. And whips her off the rope. Has her back up now. And Cassandra with a spear takes down Rogue. Cassandra going up top. And Cassandra with a splash on the Rogue. Is that enough? Is she even going to go for the cover after that? No, she's not. She's going to showboat a little bit. Kick for good measure. As Rogue, no, Rogue grabs her by the leg and sweeps. And you're back up now. Rogue. There's Cassandra against the ropes. Oh, just throws her out of the ring. To the top, Rogue. Oh, went for the moonsault swanton. And now Cassandra. Head first off the table goes Rogue. And, oh, Rogue shoves her away. Rogue with a chop and a drop kick. Down goes Cassandra. Five count at the moment. Right hand from Cassandra. Oh, and Rogue plays dirty a little bit there. And now Rogue turns her around. And Rogue with a Shiranui. I remember the name of the move this week. One, two, kick out. And now Rogue hoisting herself up the ropes again. 
And now she's looking for the moon stomp. A moon soul into a stomp. And that's it. Good night. Two. Cassandra gets the shoulders up. And Rogue, a standing backflip just for good measure. Oh, Rogue with a forearm. And another. Ducks the attempted clothesline. And a spine buster. Rogue is on fire. There's a stomp. Rogue. No, Cassandra catches the boot. And Rogue goes face first into the man. Oh, and Cassandra calling her up. Once again. Oh, what a right hook. One, two, three. Cassandra's going on to the fatal four way next week. Cassandra is the winner, but Rogue, she's going to be a good sport about it. Yes, she is. Offers the hand. Cassandra accepting it. Good sportsmanship there from Rogue and Cassandra. As Cassandra will join Wonder Woman, Batgirl, and Princess Daisy next week. As we have a, no pun intended, monster of a main event tonight. Because out first, it must be Friday the 13th, because out comes Jason Voorhees. Saw Jason in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, it's easier to say who we haven't seen in the Royal Rumble for being there. But we saw Jason in the Royal Rumble. Jason has been only well, we one where he was when when ARW started. Now we found him tonight. He's in singles action tonight. Jason Voorhees in the ring. As tonight, he takes on the number one contender to the ARW Heavyweight Champion. The King of the Koopas, Bowser. Bowser making his way to the ring. Last week he called out Thanos by name. Well, sort of. Not quite sure how anyone understands what that was said. I didn't quite understand it. Thankfully for me, a translation coming in my head. That might be me. But Bowser called out Thanos by name. Well, he had Thanos answer the call. And Bowser, sneak attack on the champion. In the end, Thanos did leave Bowser, or no, in the end, Bowser left Thanos laying with a clothesline. The referees had to split them up as Bowser just drop kicked Jason Voorhees. And Jason Voorhees, another man here in the YW, or ARW, I'm so used to saying YWF, in the ARW, who stands at a similar size to Bowser. Got a clothesline. And there's a leg drop from Jason to Bowser. 
Voorhees attacks the arm now. Bowser up in a sitting position. And there's a right hand to Jason. Bowser with another. And, well, went for the drop kick. Jason got out of the way. Jason Voorhees scoops Bowser up. Fireman's carry. Gut buster. Takes him down. Into the cover. One. No, kick out. And Bowser takes down Voorhees. There's a kick. Knocks him down. Pulling away on the arm now. Wrenching it back. Wait a minute. Well, we saw Little Mac do this to Mike Tyson earlier tonight. Where's Thanos? Oh, no. Bowser behind you. No. Thanos. Tombstone pile driver. How's the referee not see this? Thanos just tombstone pile driving Bowser, and Bowser's right back up out of it. Bowser shakes off the tombstone, making Thanos look like a joke. Laughs it off almost. Now he goes up to the leg of Jason Voorhees. Bowser. Centaur. And now Bowser's calling Voorhees up. And Bowser. Well, he did this. It put away Mario. It did put away Super Mario just a few weeks ago. Shell shot. One. Two. No. Voorhees gets out of it. And a kick to the back. Bowser now. Oh, right hands to the side of Voorhees' head. Bowser with a right. And another. And one more for good measure. There's Jason Voorhees. No, Jason clothesline takes him down. Voorhees went for a right. And Jason with a DDT to Bowser. Now he's calling Bowser up. Jason Voorhees scoops him up. Slams him down. Into the cover. Maybe that tombstone did more to Bowser than Bowser let on. One. Two. No. Bowser still gets off the mat. Clothesline from Jason. And a second. Off the ropes. Jason Voorhees just hit a drop kick. And now Jason Voorhees has dropped Bowser. He's calling him up again. And Jason drills Bowser into the mat. Hooks the leg. One. Two. Three, Jason Voorhees is your winner. Well, give the assist to Thanos with a tombstone. Bowser may have tried to shake it off. But in the end, Jason Voorhees, the size of him, the strength, too much for Bowser. Jason Voorhees has just beaten the number one contender to the ARW Heavyweight Championship. That is huge. For Jason Voorhees. I thank you all for watching. 
this week's edition of the ARW. Tune back in next Thursday, same channel, same time, same place, same ARW. See you guys next week.